So today is going to be a fun video. I am going to show you guys how I cut my bangs. I think the last time I did it was like three or four years ago, three years ago. So we're doing a new updated version and it's still Amalia who will be doing it. Um, but yeah, there she is. <laughs> so we're gonna get to it. We're gonna wash my hair and then we're gonna cut the bangs and then that's gonna be it. So we're going to use Maria Nila color shampoo. So it's the color series. And we're gonna do that because I got highlights like a month ago or two months ago and it protects the color. Am I right, Amalia? Yes. <laughs> okay, so let's go. <laughs> I think the first time you cut my bangs was like 2017. Yeah. That's totally. crazy. Yeah. I've never had a hairstyle for that long. <laughs> so we're going to trim my bangs. We trimmed them a month ago. So my bangs grew really fast and it's annoying because we live four hours apart. So whenever I'm in my hometown, I try to get a little bang trim. So that's what we're going to do. Is there anything like specific that you think about when cutting bangs? It's it's different when it's the first time you're cutting the bangs and also yeah. for the trim. You can just trim it. Oh, yeah. The thing I mainly think about is the face shape and the way the hair moves. Oh yeah. So all hair types are different. And as far as the volume, the thickness and the curls and all that stuff. So you have to have that in mind. Also how much yeah. you can use for the bangs. Like a lot of people uh, ask about your bangs and say that, oh, she has so much hair and her bangs are really thick. And as you know, the thing about the bangs is it's not about the thickness of it. It's more about where you cut it. So, yeah, this is not that much hair. It's actually People not. think it's it's a lot of hair, but it looks thicker than it is. So, yeah. don't cut it too thick. Because that's what I usually see when it's yeah. destroyed. It's like a thick bangs. It's yeah. like a loaf of bread. We talked about it before. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Who wants a loaf of bread? Yeah. So when I trim it, I basically just remove the back back of the hair and oh, of course decide the length of it yeah and then i cut little by little okay should i start let's do it let's do it what is important is also that you you don't do any like harsh movements or like choppy haircut yeah. No, so it's not it's not supposed to be a normal uh, fringe or bangs that is grown out. Yeah. It's supposed to be uh, soft. Not like the bangs that you have when you're like a little kid. No, exactly. <laughs> this is completely different. And it's supposed to be soft and thin in the end. Yeah. 
so you don't have to over style it exactly and it's supposed to move like this and not be heavy like that so basically I'm just doing tiny tiny bits just at the end and then I'm layering it so maybe if you take from the top here a little bit you can see how I layer it by making it more airy I don't know if you know this material but when it's too long you, you might feel it's too heavy yeah yeah I definitely notice. I notice that when my bangs grow out too much, it's really, really hard to style them. And I usually don't really have to style my bangs. I just like wash my hair and let it air dry. Mm. But when they're too long, I have to style them. So even when I style them, it feels so heavy and it's like, yeah. it doesn't want to be styled. Like yeah. I just want to hang there. Correct. So when I've done this part, I always let the hair down and you have to connect it to the rest of the hair. Every time, even if you just trim it or if it's the first time you have to connect it because the, the bangs are not supposed to be one hairstyle and the rest of the head one hairstyle. Um, so, I it's mean, it's not one. supposed to be two hairstyles in one. It's supposed to, like, just float into each other like this. And what I see here on this side, now when I trimmed it, it's shorter here. You can see the movement here. You have this heavy part. So this part we have to connect. And if we don't connect it, you're not going to have that soft movement. And uh, it will be heavy. So when I get the questions about how to tell your hairdresser how to cut it and stuff like that, it, it's hard to explain because it's, it's not like... It's not like I'm cutting... Uh, a bob or anything like that you have to it's have not to, like one bang it's all it's not it's it's about the movements and if your hair if the hair is not like Matilda's if it's more straight you can still have it but the hairdresser have to cut it into the rest of the hair and the rest of the yeah. hair yeah and you have to touch it feel it and you know so when I pull my hand through it like this I'll still see that it's a tiny bit of thickness here that I have to remove this part and the sections are always diagonal because it's not supposed to look like a mushroom when it's done. <laughs> like the old old layering haircut we got in the 90s. Like I went to layers and it was, <laughs> you look like a mushroom. And you don't want that. No. Uh -uh. And when this part is done, you see this is a heavy part also, you have to cut it into that shape. So then I just take a section from the top of the bangs and down to in front of the ear, almost on top of the ear. Then I pull everything forward. And don't use a knife for this. A lot of people think I'm, I'm cutting it like using my scissor like a knife and I don't I'm supposed to cut it and when that side is done I'm moving on to the next part
almost there. I always pull the hair up. Yeah, so we kind of see what it looks like when it's up. Yep. Because I always think it's important that you don't have to work too much with your hair. As you can see, my hair, it's not so styled. No, but it's supposed to be easy and you're not supposed to like, oh, I have to part it to see where the bangs are. I always pull it up like this. And then I see what parts fall down. Because this is how you do it at home. Like when you go to the gym, it's, it's that time when you get the cutest ponytails and stuff like that because you don't overthink it. Yeah, it's true. And it's supposed to be the same with this one. And it's important that you don't have this, this part. You know, yeah. you pull it up. And then you could always decide if you want to keep some length or if you want it a little bit shorter. I think this is nice. This is a nice length. I think nice. so. And if you're happy with the result then, then you're basically done. Ooh. But as you can see here now, is when you when you cut it, we we blow dried it before. And that's the shape for the longer bangs. So now we have to blow dry it a tiny bit more in the ends here, just to see the movement of it. And then I also always like to run through my hair, my fingers through my hair to like feel it. We always do that and I'm always like, touch your hair, like what does it feel touch like, it. do you like it? Um, so that's what we always do as well. I think it's perfect. It's important that it doesn't feel heavy. Yeah. It's supposed to be airy, flowy, soft, easy, breezy. Beautiful. <sighs> Cute. Well, thank you for watching. Um, I hope this was informative. A new updated version. Same tricks maybe as before, but yeah. in a better lighting maybe. Maybe. <laughs> in a salon at least. Last time we were in my kitchen. Mm. So everybody go and follow Amalia. Um, don't send her too many DMs about how to cut bangs. <laughs> Watch this video instead and hopefully it's helpful. Um, yeah.